foundation. to get to know me so i have 25 questions to answer for you guys and then that's it in the video get this video to at least 20 likes maybe even 40 share it with your family and friends don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications and also follow your girl on instagram help me get to a thousand because my old page is gone where i had all my followers and now i'm starting over and i'm at 500 so follow me at May Beauty and get your girl to a thousand. Yes, comment on my last blah, 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 blah. comment on my last photo for a follow back. All right, so now let's get into the video. Like I told you guys before, I have 25 questions here on my phone to answer for you guys. Sorry if I'm looking down too much and all that I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Let me turn my mirror around because if I leave that right there, I'm gonna just keep paying attention to it. This movie is bomb. Alright. Question number one Are you a morning or a night person? Um, I don't even know. I want to say I'm a morning person. But I want to say I'm a night person. I say I'm in between. Honestly, because I like getting up early in the morning to do my workouts and do my devotional and things like that. And when this quarantine and curfew and lockdown disappears, I like to go out with my girls and hang out with them at night. So I can pull an all-nighter and still be up early in the morning to do what I got to do. So that's exactly why I say both. If that could be like the answer to the question, because I really can't choose one. Question number two: Are you afraid of the dark? Of the dark? <laughs> I can get so tired a lot. Are you afraid of the dark? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It depends on it, like if it's just pitch black in the house with no light, and I just watched this game movie. <sighs> yeah, yeah. And then I also, I sleep with my TV on too. Cause it's like, I need that noise or that light in the background for me to fully get to sleep. Like once I'm asleep and you turn off my TV and everything, then it ain't gonna phase me, but it's a little bit. <laughs> All right, question number, no, I might as well just leave the hair here cause we'll keep it on right. Question number three, are you an extrovert or an introvert? I'm an introvert. I like to be alone a lot. Nowadays, as I got older, like as I keep getting older and growing, 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 I'm only 23 right now, but it seems like I enjoy my time alone a lot. Now, I ain't gonna lie, during this whole quarantine and everything, I feel like I'm going crazy because it's just like, I love being in the house anyways. Being told, told that I have to stay in the house, it's like, ah, I wanna leave, I wanna go somewhere. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure some of y'all I feel the same way. Comment down below and let me know how this quarantine is treating you. Quarantine day 365, because I really don't know. <laughs> and question number four, are you double jointed? In my fingers, I think. Like, I could do this. <laughs> like, bend that part of your finger. And then, I'm pretty sure some other people can do this. I don't know if this counts, but yeah, I feel like I'm double jointed in my fingers. That's about it. Cause I can do it on both hands. Your thumb don't have it, but yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm not double jointed in my fingers. Comment down below. If you guys can do this, comment down below. 
Question, we're on question number five. Question number five. Are you left or right-handed? I am right-handed. That was just like a simple question. Question number six. Did you go to prom? Yeah, I did. It was fun, it was lit. If you guys would like a prom story time, comment down below, get this video to like 50 likes and follow my Instagram for me to drop the video for my prom story time and how it happened, how I got my prom day, all the juicy details and all. Um, question number seven, do you bite your nails? Yes, I do bite my nails when I'm nervous or anxious. I find that to be a habit. Like I could just be sitting there out of nowhere. I wouldn't even notice I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Um, Question, where question number eight. Do you enjoy dancing? Yes, I enjoy dancing. I have been dancing since I was little. Um, and, um I haven't been dancing as much as I used to. Like after graduating high school, my dance dance level just trickled on down. But I'm getting back into that. I'm getting snatched. I'm getting my weight back down because I did put on some more weight, stress eating and all that. And um yeah, I will start dancing again. You guys will be seeing me on TikTok a lot sooner or later. Yep. Sorry, y'all. I was interrupted by my mommy. Um, where was he at? Um, yeah, question number eight was, do you enjoy dancing? And like I was saying, I really do. I've been dancing since I was young. I got stories about how I was on the table at a family cookout doing the whole routine to so ride the boat, ride the boat, and all that. So, and like I was saying, I'm gonna be doing on TikTok a lot, on Triller. I'm gonna probably be doing more and getting out my comfort zone and actually posting on my page some of my dancing skills and things like that. Sometimes I'll be hesitant to put the video out there because I'll be too worried about anybody gonna like it. Look at me compared to the other dancers because I haven't been dancing in so long, but. I just gotta say, bump it and bump, bump, bump it up. <laughs> All right, question number nine. Do you have a tattoo? No, do you have any piercings or tattoos? Yes, I have my tongue pierced, two um, piercings on each ear, and I only have, let me try to see that. I only have one tattoo right here, which is my birthday and Roman numerals. Do not like it. Um, I mean, I've grown to love it over time. It isn't in the place that I actually wanted it to be because I swear, like, my the tattoo artist who did my tattoo was King of DC, and um, he was not listening to me at all. Like, I told him I wanted it here, and I showed him a picture of how, but because the girl, I guess the way the girl was posed, he thought it was just to go this way, and I was just like, it's whatever. Like, you already even started. And I'm not about to just deal with all that. So I was like, just leave it there. It's cute, whatever. But would I go back to him? Probably not. I've heard a lot of, like, his ratings and reviews are terrible with working with female. Like, I didn't experience anything to where I feel like he was coming on to me or anything. Like, you know what? That's something else for another video. And I will save that for another video. Okay. Comment down below if you would like to see on that video or my experience with him and yes i got you um question number 10 we getting down there we got 15 more note up <laughs> question number 10 do you have any children do no i don't i want some i have baby fever but the time is not now no it's not right i am not married i am not in a relationship not where i want to be in life financially and things like that so that's how I am, like, to God be the glory. If it's God's will, let it be done. Like, whenever it happens and whenever I find that man and I get married, as B. Simone say, I need a boyfriend. It's like, no, no, I really don't. I'm enjoying my singleness and my celibacy and all that. But, yeah, I don't have children. But sometimes, y'all be having the cutest babies out here, especially these YouTubers. Every time they get pregnant and pop out a baby, I'm like, I want one. But then I'm just like, 
Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have three older sisters that live all over the world right now. I can go vacation everywhere at this point just to go see my sisters. And that's kind of what I love about them living in different parts of the world right now. Mm -hmm. Question number 12. And my mom gets on me on this all the time. Do you still have your wisdom teeth? Yes, I do. I could have gotten them pulled out a while ago, years ago. I'm scared though. Like, what the doctor said about my wisdom teeth, I'm putting them out, made me scared. So it was just like, I never got it. And then even to this day, my mother's just like, I need to get my um, wisdom teeth pulled. But I will soon. I will eventually. Right now, I have an excuse as to why I haven't gotten it done yet because they holding this up and they're telling us to stay in the house. So, <laughs> um, question number 13. Do you still watch cartoons? Yes, I do. I watch all the throwbacks. I still watch Hey Arnold, Rugrats, um, Rocko's Modern Life, just to name a few. Yep, I be watching all of them. Sometimes I even sit here and watch Teen Titans Go. They be lit sometimes. Like, sometimes you don't want to watch adult shows all the time. You know, I still have a little kid in me, and it's fun. I am not ashamed. 90s cartoons all the way. F that. If you still watch cartoons like Hey Arnold and all that, comment down below. Matter of fact, comment down your favorite throwback cartoon of all time in the comment section below. Um, question number 14. Have you met any celebrities? Yes, I've met two celebrities in my lifetime, like actually face to face. I'm not even talking about cart concert wise. I've met them face to face. Um, when I was 19, I met Elle Varner. I was on my way, well, had just got off the plane in Oklahoma and I was going to go uh, visit my sister. And then she was at the airport. I saw her when we was getting out of this plane. I was like, Elle, hi. And she was like, hi, gave me a hug and everything. I asked her if I could take a picture with her. She was like, no. I was like, why not? Like, can I get you a snack? Da, da, da. She was like, my makeup's not done. I'm good. And I was like, uh, okay, well, thanks. Nice meeting you. That was that. She doesn't look bad without her makeup. She's very beautiful all natural. I guess she's just one of those types that will love to look put together at all times. And I get it. I understand it. Um, the second time I met a celebrity was I was at work. This was back in 2018. I was at work at Smoothie King. Oh my goodness. And I sat here and took his order. And I'm not paying attention to whose order that I'm taking until after I made his smoothie and gave it to him. So I took his order, whatever, whatever, and I'm like, thank you. I'm looking at him in his face, got the money, you know, we're doing everything, and I'm still not paying attention. It's not clicking to me who it is. And so I started making his smoothie, and I'm looking, I'm like, nah, it can't be him. He was like, gave him his stuff. And I'm like, you're Sarani, right? And he was like, yes. I was like, it's, it's, it's Sarani. Just in case you never know. <laughs> you know, like that's what like really how Slice I was. I got a picture with him and everything. Well, his promoter, security, I don't know, remember who the guy was. He took a picture of us and got it on his phone. Have I gotten my picture to this day? No, which I'm kind of upset about. But he was trying to get us to go to, he was trying to get me to go to whatever party or performance he was having that night. Did me and my sisters go? No. We ended up doing something else that night because it was my sister's birthday. And we went out. It was lit. But yeah, I met Elle Varner and Sarani, and it was cool. It's really cool. If you don't know who Sarani is, why don't you? And like, that's all to be my question. But if you know who Sarani is, comment down below one of your favorite songs that he's made for you. Well, not literally for you, but that you feel like it's yours. You feel like this is my song. He was thinking about me when he made this. Yeah. Comment down below. <laughs> it's question number 15. Have you had, have you had braces? Have you had braces? Why does that sound so weird? Have you had braces? I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a proper way that it just sounds weird. But yes, I did have braces in high school. What, my senior? Yeah, my senior year is when I got my braces. And I was loving them. Like, I was a brace face everywhere I went. I was cheesing and everything and showing off my braces it was kind of salty when it was time for them to take off for them to take it off because it was like 
real teeth work really fast and they shift it very well. I really didn't have much like this tooth right here was like up. So they pushed that down. And these two, my two front teeth was like crooked, like inward. So I really didn't have that much work to do, but I was surprised like, I didn't even want my, bra my, my breakfast. Wow. I don't I really want my braces back to this day, like. It's crazy because growing up, I was always that child that was just like, I'm gonna wear glasses, I want braces. And guess what? I wear glasses and I've had braces. Like, it's weird, but that was my obsession back then. Question number 16. What city were you born in? I was born in Silver Spring, Maryland. And we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Question number 17, what did you want to be when you were younger? I wanted to be a professional dancer and a fashion designer. Honestly. Um, it could that it could have went that way and could have been the works. I feel honestly if I stayed um in African dance in fourth grade, if I stayed in that and really like worked on my dancing and my dancing techniques and things like that, I would have been more into my school classes and things like that and trying to get my grades up and trying to get scholarships and things like that. But it's just like yeah. Nothing really didn't go that way, so it's just like as time went on in school, I was just like, I don't care. It happens. It happens. I am on. I am working on the fashion design part of my lifetime because, like I've told you guys plenty of times before, well, it was supposed to launch last year in February, but it hasn't yet. It's been pushed back, set back. But I will be um launching my clothing brand soon my online clothing boutique soon where it will be some clothes that I will be getting from wholesale but I will also be designing some of my own clothes clothing and that's honestly the tedious part that's getting in the way because I'm looking for a seamstress and people to not only teach me how to make my clothes but I also want others to help me bring my illustrations to life pretty much so you can say some of that is coming through. The professional dancer part, that can probably still come true too if I put in the work for it. And I feel like I'm getting back into that sort of work will be. You'll be applying pressure for me. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for your girl. Dancing, model, freelance, MUA, hairstylist, all that. All that. It's coming to you soon, real soon. Question number <clears throat> question number 18. What is your shoe size? My shoe size is a nine. I don't know why I had to think about that. Because that is honestly my shoe size. I don't know why I hesitated. It took so long. Guys, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> but no, for really. For really, for real. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications and share this video. But what I really want to say was, we're at question 19, y'all. We're almost done. Like, we're almost done. Get in there. Question number 19. What is one item on your bucket list? One item on my bucket list is to take a trip to Dubai. Honestly, I have to vacation out there. If I don't do anything else or accomplish anything else, I will be taking a trip to Dubai. I'm manifesting that in my life. And that's going to happen next year. Yep. God is willing. I will be in Dubai 2021. <laughs> Question number 20. Five more questions to go. What's one goal you would like to accomplish this year? I would like to reach a thousand subscribers on my channel and also be able to motivate somebody else into pursuing their dreams and achieving their goals, helping healing and spreading the gospel and trying to save lives. Like honestly, that's it. 
Like if my YouTube channel can get to that point or surpass my goal and will I reach the hearts of others and youths and be able to tell my story, I'll be the happiest person alive, honestly. Question number 21, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a lion. Somehow I feel like it's a lion because I'm a Leo, but no, lions are so like beautiful. Wow. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I love me. What is your favorite color? No, if you guys thought my favorite color was green just because my room was green, no. Look, this is, this is my grandma's house. I don't know my grandma. She picked these colors. I had no choice. But my favorite color, honestly, is blue. I love all shades of blue and everything. My second favorite color is pink. And yeah. But yeah. My go-to favorite color. If you don't know me, now you do. And if you know me and you didn't know my favorite color is blue, you won't have to see me. No, I don't really punch like that. Don't come from my punches and things like that. Question number 23. Question number 23. What is your best physical feature? My smile. Most people will say my legs. Because a lot of people in high school growing up called me legs. So they felt like I had a nice long leg. But, no, my favorite feature, physical feature with me, is my smile. I really love it and enjoy it. And a lot of people tell me that I should smile more often. Because I, I ain't gonna lie, like, my, my face be so straight, but people think I'm sad or mugging or mad or irritated. And it's like, no, nah, like, I'm just chilling. It's just my face. Like, I don't know what to do about it. But anytime I do smile and I'm, like, at work, at a register or cat, um, being a cashier or a customer that sees me and things like that. They're just like, your smile just made my day or your smile made me smile. You should smile more often. And I've gotten a lot of tips off my smile. <laughs> so, yeah, I love my smile. And my uh, ex-boyfriend, that's what got him. Honestly, like, yeah, we were talking and getting to know each other, but he told me what attracted him to me and made him want to be with me was my smile. <laughs> um 24 what is your dream car my dream car will forever be a Dodge charger like anybody that knows me can tell you that i've always wanted a Dodge charger all right guys that was the end of the video thank you so much for taking the time out to watch all the way to the end thank you so much for getting to know your girl if you have any questions for me comment down below if you guys would like to see a part two to this video get this video to 50 likes